Hello, welcome everyone to another video from our lab. Uh, this is an author's take. Uh, we had just uh, been announced that another paper from our lab has been accepted in BMC Microbiology. And we are here to discuss a little bit about that paper. And I have with me uh, Sharu, who's the first author on this and currently uh, doing her master's in Germany. And that's why we are recording this online. So um, Sharu, we'll go ahead and get started uh, with maybe some basic questions. So you want to tell about uh, this study? What is this paper about? Uh, so in our lab, we are working on the uh, on a project to develop phage therapy for tuberculosis using biomaterial approaches. Uh, so uh, this this study is a preliminary study for that, where we have characterized the interaction between the phages and the bacteria. So uh, our our paper explores the potential of bacteriophage therapy as an alternative treatment for tuberculosis, particularly drug resistant strain. Like tuberculosis um, is a bacterial infection caused by Mycobacterium tuberculosis, and it remains as a significant health challenge. And with the rise of antibiotic resistant strains, um, new treatment methods are crucial. Uh, bacteriophages. Um, are commonly called phages, are viruses that specifically infect bacteria. Uh, they have been gaining attention uh, as a potential solution uh, to the growing problem of antibiotic resistance, as like they can offer targeted approach to uh, killing bacteria without harming human cells, and they can be engineered or selected to uh, target specific bacterial strains. Um, so in the study, we have investigated the effectiveness of three mycobacterial phages, D29, TM4, and DS6A, against a virulent strain of uh, Mycobacterium tuberculosis uh, in vitro under conditions that mimic those found in the human body, such as um, low pH and hypoxia during TB infection. Good. So what were the major findings, you would say? What was the novelty of the study? What did you find? Our findings uh, show that these phages can effectively infect and destroy Mycobacterium tuberculosis at very low MOIs, that is very low dose, even under those challenging conditions. Uh, we also identified a novel phage tolerance mechanism in which Mycobacterium tuberculosis forms aggregates after prolonged exposure to a single type of phage. Um, but interestingly, this tolerance was not observed when a cocktail of phages was used, highlighting the importance of using multiple phages to prevent resistance and improve treatment efficacy. And uh, these, these um, we also characterized these bacterial aggregates, and they were found to be enriched with biofilm components and metabolically active bacteria. This, like, basically suggesting a complex and dynamic interaction between the phages and mycobacteria. Uh, also, we explored the interaction of the phages with commonly used antibiotics uh, for TB treatments, such as rifampicin and isoniazid. Our results indicate that combining phages with these antibiotics during the active growth, of, growth phase of bacteria did not show any um, significant additive effects. Uh, but uh, these phages were uh, highly effective in eliminating one of the multi-drug resistant uh, tuberculosis strains we tested with no regrowth observed, even in the presence of antibiotics, like them, which, which shows that um, it, it is uh, very efficient uh, in uh, combating a drug resistant TB. Overall, our findings demonstrate that uh, phage therapy could be a viable and effective treatment option for drug resistant TB. Cool. So I, I guess you partially answered my next question, but uh, do you want to add anything mm -hmm. about the future implications of the study? Where, where do you think uh, we should go next? Uh, uh, so for this phage therapy to be effective, the phages must be in direct contact with the bacteria. So given the complex pathology of TB where bacteria can form granuloma in lungs, a key future step will be to evaluate the therapeutic efficiency of phages in animal models. Um, so we plan 
to focus on targeted and localized delivery methods such as inhalations uh, to ensure that phages reach the infection sites effectively. So, uh, and also overcoming challenges such as efficient phage um, delivery within the infected mammalian cells um, and managing the potential immune responses for phages like neutralizing antibodies uh, is also um, it's also a consideration, so um, which is critical for the success of the phase treatment. Cool, cool. Thank you. Thank you for very nicely putting up the future challenges and, and maybe areas that we should be working on. Um, so I think that sort of brings us to the end of this video. I hope all of you have enjoyed uh, this video and maybe um, uh, you'll get encouraged to read the paper. I'll put the link in the description as well. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.